news. There's all kinds of housing news coming out the last couple of days. Uh, the, the first one that I'm going to go through a little bit in detail today uh, talks about the, uh, it's called the American Rescue Plan. It was unveiled last Wednesday by the president. Um, the president has earmarked $213 billion of this $2 trillion infrastructure plan um, for housing. And specifically what he wants to have done is uh, the building or rebuilding of 500,000 homes in low and middle income areas of the country. Um, and that's part of a master plan to build and rehabilitate 2 million affordable homes and commercial buildings over the next 10 years. Uh, how is this gonna affect you? It's gonna affect everybody. First of all, he's calling for the repeal of what's called uh, exclusionary zoning laws. Exclusionary zoning laws are things that <clears throat> will keep a, a certain community. Uh, it, it's it, there's no delicate way to say this, but it will keep. It has kept some communities with just high price homes and other communities with low price homes. He is demanding that that thing be totally unwound. Um, in other words, taking the ability to. Uh, say what kind of housing or a standard of housing are allowed in any particular area, taking that away from the local authorities and making it all a federal law. This is gonna be an interesting thing. If he's able to get that across, this will be a game changer. In other words, you go to you know some nicer communities and you won't see a mobile home in the middle of a community or HOAs have the authority to control the color you paint your house or the outside uh, stucco or whatever uh, in a house, um, he wants that, all of that torn up. He wants that regulation taken away from the states and the communities and make it a national basis. So for example, Newport Beach, California, just down the road from here, um, they want to put a mobile home park in the middle of where these uh, giant uh, commercial buildings that are no longer going to be used because people are working from home. So they'll tear that down and they'll be able to put a low cost housing uh, in the middle of that uh, and or a mobile home park. So that's what they're looking for. Um, they're probably going to get it uh, the way that everything is run uh, the next year and a half, two years. Um, they're going to be able to pass these kinds of funds. Once funds are passed, it's very hard to pull it back. Um, but we're going to see what happens. This is going to be paid for by an increase in taxes. Um, in fact, the corporate tax rate is anticipated they're saying right now that it's going to go from 20, it's going to go up to 28% bottom line for whatever it is now, 18 or 20%. It's going to go up to 28%. They're also going to give first time home buyers a $15,000 tax credit. Um, the reason behind all of this is it's designed to spur the economy. They finally figured out that rather than give money directly to people, you're better off creating jobs where people can work. This is the, the FDR, um, deal in the 1930s during the depression, uh, the, the, the Works Progress Administration, the WPA, uh, where they put everybody to work. In this case, they're going to put everybody to work building houses or rebuilding houses. And uh, it's going to be a, a real game changer out there. They're pushing for home ownership. Um, I predict down the road, if this administration succeeds itself, you're probably going to see public housing in 50% of the communities across the country. In other words, the houses will be controlled by the federal government. You, uh, home ownership, uh, private home ownership could be a thing of the past. Now we'll see how far that gets in the Supreme Court, but that's where this whole thing is heading. So it's kind of an interesting deal. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that on um, Thursday night's call uh, because the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB, has suggested some regulations which they don't have to go to Congress to get, they can just do it. Um, that would stop foreclosures. So it's going to be a real interesting game changer. The government stuck its nose into this deal, the federal government, and I think intends to grab control of this uh, private asset, probably the most profitable private asset in the hands of individuals in this country, it's housing. Um, so it's, it's going to be a game changer for all of us on the call in the housing business. In, in the short run, like over the next 10 years, it's probably going to be really good for us. Um, it's going to extend the good streak for a longer period of time. Long term, I don't believe it's in the best public interest to 
take housing out of the hands of private individuals and make it owned by the federal government. But I think that's where we're heading. So anyway, 